Hey, welcome to Navigating the Shift. Annabelle and Sarah here, and we're just contemplating the, the things that are going on at the moment without too much news. Uh, we've got a little bit of news. One thing that I've got, um, well, after all those booms, that was interesting. They got bigger and bigger, didn't they? If you go back to the video that we, I, I called Boom Week, you'll see I've actually added in a few more links below that of more that happened after that, or more that we found along the way. A whole lot of them, it, it looks to me like it is disarmament of um, caches of chemicals or weapons or whatever that could be used against us and now won't be able to be. So um, I know that we have lost some lives through that, but it's better than losing millions of lives from a weapon. Um, using yeah, I saw a Twitter thread of a guy who was a munition expert. He said that that was an armament explosion in Beirut, that the color of it was the wrong color to be in ammonium nitrate oh. and it, he thought it was this type of uh, ammunition there and that they probably had the ammonium nitrate as a cover-up above it and below ground they had this other stuff and it just the whole thing got triggered if you look at the video you do see like spark 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 yeah. spark 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 and um, he speculated that what they were doing was doing small a bunch of small explosions to limit the the big explosion so it's like they're trying to make it as as undamaging as possible yeah very tricky you can't you can't clear people out of there unless they know what's going on so well evidently they tried to oh really? there were flyers going around telling people to get out of the area days in advance oh wow. that there was going to be stuff going down there okay so they did try to warn them um, here in Victoria, we were talking about Melbourne as well during that boom week, and people have actually started putting up video footage and of explosions, non-stop explosions happening. And one of the Facebook groups that I was part of, a really big Australian group, saying, "Hey, did you, you know, have you heard of anything? Have you, do you know of any planes going over, unusual trucks in the middle of the night, uh, explosions or whatever?" And there were more than eight hundred replies underneath. Yeah. A lot. I mean, not, not, I mean, there's some of them going, wow, you know, and, and not all the comments are reporting back, but there's a, there was a huge amount of reporting back of things wow. going on in the middle of the night. So I, I just, I, and I was sitting there, you know, when people start raving, oh my God, it's the vaccines or the 5G or whatever. And at one point I just had to sit myself down and go, explosions don't happen because vaccines arrive in the country. Explosions don't happen because you're building a 5G tower. There's something else going on. So this is the way I'm suggesting if you are in Victoria and you're freaking out about it, or if this happens in your city, just be calm. Stay inside if they tell you to stay inside because there may be a reason for it. Or if they had a flyer out saying get out of the area, do so. The, the only other piece of news I wanted to point out kind of fits into that nicely. I'm connected to Seek. It is the biggest uh, job vacancy website in Australia. And you can put in like a little criteria of what you're looking for. Like, so for me, if I'm looking for like part-time contract work in between or whatever, I'd look in art, arts, media and entertainment because that's my field or, you know, you can choose your area. Anyway, one has come out and I, it's nothing to do with my area that I put in. It's casual enrolled nurses, casual pool, casual enrolled, casual registered nurses, casual registered what? nurses for intensive care casual registered nurses for operating theaters this is all for north sydney what so are casual registered nurses bomb 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 one listing after the other uh so i think they're getting ahead of themselves that uh, we're suddenly going to need a lot of casual registered nurses in sydney very shortly so casual does that mean casualty no it means casual as a not full-time so you okay. can pull them in for three months or six months. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. So mm -hmm. we'll see. That means they're either going to say, oh, my God, second wave in Sydney, lockdown, and whether they're used for ill pay people, which apparently they're not in, in Melbourne at the moment, or if they're used for the tunnels. We'll see. So I'm just telling you now, I mean, I'm, I might not put this video up straight away, but this came out this morning, which is in Australia, 13th of August. In America, it's the 12th of August. So let's see. Let's mark the date and see when they decide to go into lockdown again. I'm expecting that's what will happen. Uh, the other thing, only other news item is that Biden's 
handlers have chosen Kamala Harris to be his running mate for the to the VP. And it's very funny because I mean she accused him of being a racist during their debates. And now it's like, oh he's so I sweet. Love you. <laughs> he's a nice guy. I really want to be there. And then they're talking about Kamala is ready to take leadership right away. I bet. I bet. Hmm. I don't think she's going to be the one I, because she's not popular. I mean, in the Democratic Party, she only got 2% of the vote. I mean, they're desperate, yes, but still. Yeah. I have a local uh, radio station that's very far left. And I was listening to it doing errands today just to get their point of view. And he was talking about how wonderful it was to see the two of them together. And that was the best talk we'd seen from Biden in a while. And it's really, how do you all feel about that? I'd like to hear from supporters of Biden and supporters of Trump, right? And they're going, oh, I was in tears. It was so wonderful to see somebody who's kind and intelligent speaking again. I was like, can, can actually finish a sentence. <laughs> he, you know, he had notes here on what to say and they cropped it out by, by putting a, you know, news tonight over it or something. It was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But uh, one of the Trump supporters called in. No, he, he left an email and he said, I do not support them. She called him a racist. I think between the two of them, they put more black people in jail than Trump ever did. Mm -hmm. And, um, you, you know, it's a lie that Trump's a racist. That It's even been proven. CNN had to come out and say that Trump did not say they're very nice people on both sides. To which the host replied, I'm not talking about what I said that the news told me. I heard him. He said exactly those words. So it's not a hoax. I don't know what you're talking about. Moving on. Uh, you know, it's just like. Knock it out, quick. <laughs> don't make a conversation out of it. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's, it's you know, it's so obvious that he was lying, but he sounds so reasonable and authoritarian. It's uh, very interesting. Pretend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. So another thing that I saw interesting on Twitter, was a spiritual teacher energy healer gal who i don't actually follow although i've heard her name her name is Lori ladd i'll link low but she put out this video call i think it's called trump is a star seed and she opens it up and she's very serious and she says you know this is really hard for me to do i had to think long and hard on how to present this without triggering people this is really hard it backs up and you're da 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 my guides have told me months ago that Trump is a star seed. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it, but they've never <laughs> let me down before. And then I started doing some research. He, if you look, if you stop watching the news and look at the executive orders he's actually signed, you can see he's doing things to promote freedom for the people. And she spoke for a long time about how hard it is to understand this. And yes, he's got a human personality and probably is not, you know, a lot of people don't like it. It's understandable. We all see him as a guy who just says, you're fired, you know, mm -hmm. but behind that, and my guides have told me he's not a hundred percent aware of his role, but he's, he is guided by his soul doing his role. And I just thought, how bizarre that speaking anything positive about your president has to be prefaced with all these apologies and explanations and all of this. And, and she said, think about it. They hate him so much. And there's this ingrained negative control group that's been running this country and the world. And he's not in it. He's breaking it up. And in order to break it up, you gotta go right into the middle of it and you have to have a physical body representation there. So I thought it was a really good explanation. And then I looked at, there was maybe 1200 comments underneath, it was quite a few. <laughs> and they're all going, yeah, we knew that already. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah he, I figured that out in 2016, you know? So she was, I, I went through, I didn't want, look at all the comments, but I went, I looked through probably 25 and nobody was going, ah! Oh my God, how could you say such an horrible thing? Everybody was saying, yeah, I already knew that. That's cool. And <laughs> so? So kind of interesting. Kind yeah. of interesting. Yeah. Well, we, we came up with that too, didn't we? Right near the beginning. 
and and we were sitting there going do not understand this this guy is such an asshole why why do we think that he's a star seed? i just don't understand it yeah it's true and according to the gal who did um my reading just recently she does star seed readings based on your natal astrology chart and she says there's a lot of different places she finds it in detail but the sort of a, a blanket over it is if you have any planets at 26 or 27 or 28 degrees of any sign you're a star seed and then she knows from that is it pleiades is it sirius is it arcturus and all that yeah. and so i had to go look it up of course trump has uh, what is it 26 degrees leo his mars in 26 degrees leo so leos love their hair and <laughs> mars is the masculine energy so now we know why he's so vain about his hair i guess he's a star seed <laughs> well i think i think there must be a um a way to measure frequencies that we don't understand yet there's a lot of technology that we don't understand and um I, I came across this at one point this would have been a few years ago when we were being all being attacked on mass all the time and there was a couple of times when in the middle of the night because i was sleeping very lightly that i would hear a, a vehicle some sort of vehicle with a big engine come down our street and stop and then turn on the most disgusting low horrible vibe like a sound that is so low like it's if you listen to rap songs you get little bits of it where they pretend it's the bass drum but it's not it's a tone it's not a beat of a drum it's a tone and and it hits you so low that it drops your vibration and uh one time i heard this in a different different house i think it was and uh it was so low that i couldn't i don't know if i would be if they do sleep paralysis or something along the way just make sure you don't go anywhere I'm not sure or if i was still just asleep but i knew that i couldn't possibly get one inch closer to the window to find out what that vehicle was couldn't stand the idea of moving anywhere close to it so i had to let it pass and then the second time that happened, which was in the house I'm in now, um, you know, when you're in that hypnosis, half sleep, half awake thing, and everything is possible. And at that point I'd gone, okay, I'm setting forward the intention that wherever that truck goes and anything similar to it in the world, uh, that the vibration will lift straight back up to exactly where it was before. And then they'll see when they measure, and I went, hang on, that's interesting. When they measure the vibration, they'll see that it doesn't work anymore. They won't send them anymore. And that was the last right. time that I heard it come down the street. So this attacking, yeah, this attacking is, is uh, something that we have to keep an eye out for. Where I've had friends that have all ended up with exactly that you and I ended up with exactly the same sickness, really bad sickness. And this morning I was thinking about a place that I was living in two houses ago. So this must have been about 10, 12 years ago. Uh, and some guy, super smiley guy, came to the front door and he said, hi, um, we're doing, uh, I've been sent out by the government and we've, we've got um, all these new light bulbs and they're super efficient and, uh, and he just did the whole big sell job on me. And I thought, this is really weird. But he says, well, I'll replace them all for you for free. And, and if you do that, that will be great. And then you can sign them off for me. And, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like I just wasn't aware at that stage. So he came around and he replaced all the light bulbs in the house he said can you sign off just to prove that i haven't just thrown them in the bin or whatever i was like yeah okay and he goes away and then i sort of stood there once the door was closed and i thought that's really weird and i opened the door and he wasn't visiting the neighbors and i also remember what happened in that house was i got very very sick my son and i got very very sick really sick i had a much younger boy and he was unaffected which was great he was only about four i think so he he was just bouncing around he was okay but the two of us got super sick and nobody else did it wasn't like a bug now i don't know if it's related to the the light bulbs but i had been reading and i have no idea where i'm going to find this information for you but how lights um can be then can put out a frequency that they're programmed to do and that will change. They can change that frequency depending on what, what effects they want to have on you. And it's not to do with light. Interesting. Yeah. Sounds weird, kooky, but there you go. I think that this is um, 
something we have to did you change those light bulbs eventually no because I, I only thought of it like years after i left that place wow yeah crazy yeah um recently uh, my daughter has was uh, down at her dad's house and went out of contact with me which is unusual she lives there part-time because that's where her school and her work is uh so she wasn't replying to my texts and she didn't answer when I called and I was like, what's going on? Is she mad at me? Could I be? No, she's not mad at me. But uh, finally, I just said, you've got to contact me. <laughs> you know, I don't know what's going on with you. And it turns out on um, the Friday before she'd gotten really nauseous and really anxious. And she called the doctor and the doctor prescribed her any nausea medicine, which did nothing to it. But they said, we want you to do a COVID test. She had none of the symptoms that are associated with not, you know, no coughing, no throat, no scent. So then the doctor was supposed to arrange for it, but it didn't happen until Sunday. So then she had to wait for the results of the test. So she was in lockdown for a week uh -huh. and couldn't go to work or anything. And it took till the next Friday and we had a birthday party planned. It was her birthday. Oh. And finally I'm like, it, you know, it's your party. Or why are you not contacting me? I'm trying to organize this, you know? And um, finally she said, told me what happened. Uh, and so we postponed the party to this next upcoming weekend. But the end result was she was negative, but she had this whole week of being locked down in the house and her dad's house has some negative frequencies there from her dad. And um any rate so when she finally came up here i'm like come on we're working on you i took her out in the yard i'm like look around look at this i moved prone this tree a lot look at all the more sun and look at all these nice tomatoes just sort of to get her barefoot on the ground noticing her environment and out of her head and then i did some energy work on her and I grounded her, connected to her crystal cave in the earth and brought that energy up and filled her and expanded out. And then I did the charm mesh, which is a screen that removes whatever you program it to remove. And she was doing this really well and breathing with me and everything. And um, she's experienced with it. I'm her mom. But here I went, whoa, 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 I'm noticing something here that's like targeting. And she went and opened her eyes and looked at me. We're sitting opposite each other on the lawn. And I said, not you personally, but this has a machine or mechanical feel to it, like you were talking about, the car, that is a low frequency thing and it hit you. And she said, that feels right, mom. And moved that out and I ended some stuff and got some good things going. And then, but it was maybe half an hour, I spent a bit of time with her. And then we got up and she said, I'm hungry. Let's get some food. Wow. She hadn't been able to eat for a whole week. Wow. And I thought, she knows I've helped her so many times. <laughs> Why didn't she call me? You know, what's going on? And then the answer I got back was her, her soul wanted the experience of knowing what the negative frequencies that are being pushed out by the controllers and knowing how to get rid of that, finding a way to feel free of it. Mm. And it occurred to me that a lot of people are doing that now. I mean, yeah. with the polarity going on, both sides, all the different possible angles are being triggered to get angry and upset and afraid. Mm. It's rather insane. So what I'd like to suggest people do is, first of all, remember any polarity is the old energy. Even if you're saying, I don't like this. I do like this. All those are judgment things. You've got to be careful. You know, if you, you can say this is a red rose and this is a white rose, but if you say this is a pretty rose and this is an ugly rose, that's the difference between a, a judgment and an observation. Mm -hmm. So if you find those judgments, step out of it. One of the visuals that I will use is of an equilateral triangle. And the idea is you have one pole here and one pole on each side. And what you want to do is visualize yourself rising above it to the point above that is above the polarity. So you can see both poles, but be popped out of it. Very good. And yeah. one of the other things I did with my daughter, <laughs> it, it, I did a little checking into my annoying neighbors and I realized not one of them has a soul. <laughs> that's why they don't care when they do nasty stuff like put a vacuum cleaner in the green can where the 
garden scraps are supposed to go or or their dog just yaps like crazy and they don't even notice it at, like at midnight right and it's a chihuahua with a really bad voice they don't they don't <laughs> care chihuahua <laughs> um <laughs> so but that was another thing so while we were sitting on the grass the neighbors started coming out on the other side of the fence and making noise so what i said to my daughter was because she was expanding her frequency out and i said what i want you to do is just move an eighth of a millimeter to your left into that parallel reality where those where your frequency is such that their frequency doesn't affect you so you can be in proximity to it but it is not in your personal vibratory reality or your personal dimension mm -hmm. because i could feel her going oh i'm not opening up to that stuff yeah, over yeah. there so that's another sort of visual thing you can do pop above it and then take a little step to the left or a little wiggle to the left and go okay and expand your high frequency out and yeah. don't worry so much about what's going on around you that's pretty much what you did it's like as soon as they move along i'm putting my frequency Lift it back straight, out straight back up yeah I think that when people get into that terrible anxious state, and you and I have been in that state before as well, it's very hard to think logically, what do I need to do? So if you feel that you're the kind of person that's going to end up in this anxious position, or if you're watching this right now and you have been anxious before, write down some pointers for yourself on the wall or make a little note somewhere with links to the pages that'll give you what you need, whether it is meditation music or it might say on the, on the wall, you know, walk on the earth uh, find that crystal cave underground that you can connect with uh, look up sarah's mesh uh, meditation we'll put the link in below this one take a bath you know i was talking to someone yesterday who was so freaked she'd had half an hour's sleep the night before her the whites of her eyes were so gray she just really didn't look good and she didn't know what to do i said you got a bath she goes yeah like, yeah okay go and have a nice scented bath it'll hopefully let you go to sleep straight afterwards you know you have to really care for yourself at the moment if you need to take time off if you if your schedule's getting busy again make sure you take time off connect with the earth look after yourself i think these things are really important but having a reminder so that when you're really anxious you can actually look at it and it'll go yeah okay right the most basic things drink filtered water you know um Eat, eat some fruit or you know just whatever is going to work for you to clear your mind and give you some some calmness and presence so what you were doing when you were taking your daughter around the garden here's a tree you know look at this over here smell the flower this is getting very very present it's very basic and yet we forget it our mind goes so fast that we don't stop to think okay here is a cup let's look at the water you know i mean just really basic stuff is but getting your mind onto things that are present rather than <laughs> rather than ah, like that so, <laughs> it will be helpful, hopefully. yes all right well i think that's it for today it thanks is. for joining us feel free to comment underneath if you have any issues and um, we're always happy to talk about them later okay bye <laughs>